Hello everyone and welcome to Reality Rip. Today, we're going to talk about one of the coolest and most fascinating topics in tech. Quantum computing. Are you ready to learn about the next generation of computing? Let's dive right in. So, before we get started with quantum computing, let's quickly recap what classical computing is all about. Classical computing uses bits to store information, which can have a value of either 0 or 1. This means that computers can only process information in a linear fashion, one bit at a time. Now, enter quantum computing. Quantum computing uses quantum bits, or qubits, to store information and here's where things get really interesting. Qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously, meaning they can represent both 0 and 1 at the same time. This property is known as superposition. Another fundamental aspect of quantum computing is entanglement. When two or more qubits are entangled, their properties become linked in such a way that the state of one qubit cannot be described independently of the others. This means that measuring the state of one qubit will instantly affect the state of the other entangled qubits no matter how far apart they are. So how do quantum computers actually work? A quantum algorithm is a set of instructions that specify how a quantum computer should be programmed to solve a particular problem. The algorithm takes advantage of the unique properties of qubits and entanglement to perform operations that would be impossible on a classical computer. One of the most famous quantum algorithms is Shor's algorithm which can factor large numbers exponentially faster than any known classical algorithm. This has huge implications for fields like cryptography, where the ability to factor large numbers quickly could break certain encryption methods. Another application of quantum computing is quantum simulation. By simulating the behavior of particles at the quantum level, researchers can gain insights into complex phenomena that would be difficult or impossible to study using classical computers. Finally, quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize machine learning quantum computers can perform certain machine learning tasks much e faster than classical computers, which could lead to breakthroughs in areas like image recognition, natural language processing, and predictive modeling. Of course, building a practical quantum computer is no easy feat. One of the biggest challenges is dealing with errors that inevitably occur when manipulating qubits. That's where quantum error correction comes in. It's a set of techniques designed to detect and correct errors in quantum computations. Researchers around the world are working tirelessly to build practical quantum computers. Some of the leading approaches include superconducting circuits, ion traps, and topological quantum computers. Each approach has its own strengths and weaknesses, but they all share the same goal, to create a scalable, fault-tolerant quantum computer. Now, let's talk about some of the more speculative aspects of quantum computing. While we can't predict the future with certainty, it's fun to imagine what might be possible with this technology. Imagine a future where quantum computers can control robots with unprecedented precision. With this ability 
to simulate complex systems and optimize decision-making processes. Quantum computers could enable robots to perform tasks that were previously thought to be the exclusive domain of humans. Quantum computers could also revolutionize data analysis. Imagine being able to analyze entire cities worth of sensor data in real time, identifying patterns and trends that would be invisible to classical computers. This could lead to breakthroughs in fields like urban planning, transportation management, and crime prevention. Of course, one of the most tantalizing applications of quantum computing is cryptography. Quantum computers have the potential to crack many encryption algorithms currently in use, but they could also create new unbreakable encryption methods. This could lead to a whole new era of secure communication, protecting sensitive information from cyber threats. This could also be how aliens are communicating throughout the universe around us and why we can simply detect it with radio signals. I will elaborate on this in a little bit. Another area where quantum computing could make a significant impact is drug discovery. By simulating complex biological systems, quantum computers could help researchers identify new drugs and therapies that would be impossible to discover using classical computers. This could lead to breakthroughs in treating diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. Quantum computing could even revolutionize supply chain management. Imagine being able to optimize delivery routes inventory management, and production schedules with unprecedented efficiency. This could save companies millions of dollars and reduce carbon emissions, making global trade more sustainable. There's also the possibility of using quantum computing to create artificial general intelligence. AGI would be capable of performing any intellectual task that a human can and it could potentially solve some of humanity's greatest challenges. However, it's important to note that AGI is still purely speculative and that there are many ethical considerations surrounding its development. Wow, those are all fascinating possibilities, aren't they? But let's get back to the topic at hand, the one we really wanted to discuss detecting alien life using quantum computing. How do you think we could use quantum computers to detect signs of intelligent life elsewhere in the universe? Well, one approach would be to use quantum computers to analyze large data sets of astronomical observations, looking for patterns that might indicate the presence of intelligent life. For example, we could use machine learning algorithms to identify usual spectral signatures in the light coming from distant stars. I don't know why I just spoke like that. Anyway, this could indicate the presence of advanced technology. Another idea would be to use quantum computers to simulate the behavior of advanced civilizations and then to look for signs of the simulations in the data. For instance, we could simulate the kinds of techno signatures that an advanced civilization might produce, such as radio signals or laser pulses, and then look for matches to those signatures in the data from the, our telescopes. We could also use quantum computers to perform optimization problems that are related to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. For example, we could use quantum computers to 
find the optimal way to beam a message towards a distant star system, taking into account factors like interstellar gas and dust and the motion of the stars themselves. Those are all great suggestions. What about the challenge of distinguishing between natural phenomena and genuine signs of intelligent life? How can we avoid false positives? One way to address this challenge is to use quantum computers to perform Bayesian inference, which allows us to update our probability estimates based on new data. By combining multiple lines of evidence, we can increase our confidence in the detection of intelligent life and reduce the risk of false positives. Another approach would be to use quantum computers to generate mock observations of what we might expect to see from advanced civilizations, and then compare those mock observations to the actual data. This could allow us to better understand the limitations of our own observations and improve our ability to distinguish between natural phenomena and our and genuine signs of intelligent life. It seems like quantum computing has the potential to revolutionize the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. So, what do you think? Are you excited about the prospects of quantum computing? Do you see any potential risks or downsides? Let us know in the comments below. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell as hard as you can to destroy it, because it is our enemy. Thanks for watching Reality Rip. Join us next time as we explore more fascinating topics at the intersection of physics, technology, and society. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring.